this video, I'm going to show you how to create an account in Wave Accounting. I'm also going to show you how to link a bank account so you can bring in transactions that you can then categorize in Wave. First, we're going to go to waveapps.com. And let's go to the pricing page to see what we're getting ourselves into. So unlike many accounting systems, there is no monthly subscription fee for the basic bookkeeping features of Wave. There are also no fees for creating and sending invoices. If someone does pay through that invoice from Wave, it, you will be charged a payment processing fee like other POS systems. If you grow large enough to need payroll services, they offer those, and you can pay for bookkeeping support. I like to recommend Wave to many small businesses because it's simpler and more user-friendly and doesn't have all of the features that you may not need from other paid accounting systems. So once you go to sign up, um, it will say sign up for free here instead of your account, you will be prompted to enter your email and password. Once you do that, you'll get to the, these series of questions that they'll ask you that are almost more like surveys. So don't feel like you have to take it too seriously. Let's go through it together. Now it's setting up my chart of accounts, which is the list of categories that I can choose from for my transactions that are related to my revenue or my expenses. Okay, so um, whenever you log into Wave or, or any other accounting system, you're going to usually see this sort of like launch pad or dashboard screen. You might see some nice looking graphs. I usually don't need to use um, either of those screens. Uh, there are going to be two places that are very important for any accounting system. Um, there's going to be one screen, whether it's QuickBooks or Wave, um, where you're going to be able to see your transactions. Um, and these are being read from your bank account that you can connect directly to Wave. Once you get those transactions in, um, and actually categorize them into the different revenue and expense categories, you'll go to your report section to run a report that will show you, you know, how much you made last month or last year and whether you're tracking towards your financial goals. So first let's go to the transactions page and we don't have a bank account linked. Um, so that's the by far the easiest way to bring in the financial data that will then categorize in Wave. You could also add transactions manually or upload a, a CSV file, which is like a simplified Excel file. Um, sometimes uh, you can't connect your bank directly to the accounting system. Uh, maybe uh, it's a small bank and it doesn't offer that capability. Um, so you might need to manually download a bank statement as a CSV and then upload it here. But let's hope that you can actually connect your bank directly. So if you choose that option, you'll be prompted to search for um, you know, the, the bank that you have your business bank account with. And then you'll be prompted to log in to that bank account through Wave. 
Um, so just as if you are on that web page logging into your bank account, you're going to enter your username and password. Um, once you get to uh, this being logged in, it'll ask you which accounts um, you know under that login you want to actually bring over to Wave. So you may have the same login for you know uh, that shows you both a personal checking account and a business checking account. So you'll want to be intentional about just making sure that the business checking account is actually brought over into Wave, um, because otherwise it's going to be a lot more work to weed out all of those personal uh, transactions. For more bookkeeping guidance, go to jumpstartinc.org slash bookkeeping. And if you want to get in touch with our team directly for one-on-one -on -one advising, fill the form out on that webpage. Thanks again for watching. <music>